we're about to use our incredible business skills to make a fortune selling paper clips. We currently have 1,000 inches of wire and zero dollars in available funds. We've officially made our first paper clip that sold for 25 cents. Public demand is still at 32%, so let's make another and another and another. I do note that as I'm making paper clips, we do have some unsold inventory so they don't sell immediately. We're gonna make this many, so there's 15 in total that we've made. And with that, our business empire is rolling along. We have $3.75. Now we can raise or lower the price of clips. We're gonna try raising that for a second up to 30 cents per clip. Public demand dropped a little bit, but I think if that can go as low as 20% before it's gonna be a problem. That's based on absolutely nothing. And then we're back to making paper clips. Let's make another 15 at our new price to see if the public wants them. They maybe just sell a little bit slower, but if there's one thing I have, it's lots of time on my hands. One might even say, too much time on my hands. Auto clippers are available for purchase. I see, because I've made $5, I could buy the auto clippers for $5, so we'll buy that. And I assume they make paper clips by themselves? Yep, they sure do. So now we're producing paper clips without doing a single thing. But I can also make paper clips if I want to click. So we're going to boost this up to 100 before I let the auto thing take over again. I probably do need to be careful too, because our wire is is finite it will run out eventually so if i don't have enough money to replace it we can't make any more paper clips our money is going up we have almost six dollars to our name we do have 115 unsold inventory i think if i was to lower the price they would probably sell quicker but i need to maximize my profits right now six dollars is not enough for a yearly salary we've just broken the ten dollar mark so that means we could buy more auto clippers for sure we can almost buy two of these at this point we could buy three we have three auto clippers now so we'll produce our paper clips even quicker our biggest bottleneck right now is selling them. We're not selling them very quickly. Perhaps if I use up all of the wire in the world and then we'll have a giant stockpile of paper clips and then we'll have a monopoly on the market that we can sell them for whatever price we want. We just gotta buy all the wire in the world. Uh, speaking of wire, we're going through that very quickly and it does cost $17 to replace. We do have 300 uh, unsold paper clips so we will make that money back eventually. Let's try lowering the price a little bit again to get public demand back up. Let's drop it actually down to 20 cents per paper clip and that should make our money go up quicker i don't know if it's actually going any quicker i guess it is it feels like it is it's hard to say but we're up to 13 dollars, so yeah we're making it quicker now 500 clips have been created in eight minutes and 17 seconds we could buy more wire the cost of wire seems to be going down not entirely sure why maybe that just randomly fluctuates so we'll keep an eye on that uh now it's gone up quite a bit again wow did that ever go up okay when it's down to 16 dollars like this i'm gonna buy it just because that seems like a good deal suddenly so uh now it's 14 dollars, but it's not 25 so we'll consider that a good buy so let's lower the price a little bit more since we're still producing uh wires quicker than we're selling them we might as well maybe also gonna buy another auto clipper so we can produce them even quicker so we're at about 500 right now we're still gaining so we can actually lower the price a little more 15 cents per paper clip we're basically giving them away we have the ability to buy more wire provided the price drops to 14 dollars again for now we're just gonna sit back and let the game do its own thing i'm gonna buy another maybe two auto clippers we might as well the faster we can produce the more money we can make in theory actually let's buy one more so we're making uh seven clips per second we're still selling inventory not as quickly as we're producing clips, so we're okay. We've now produced 1,000 in only 10 minutes and 21 seconds. And I guess if we really get desperate, we could raise the price up probably quite a lot. They won't sell very quickly, but we'll make a lot of money for each and every one. How high are we allowed to put the price? There doesn't really seem to be a downside to raising the price other than it goes slower, but people I'm pretty sure are forced to buy whatever price we've got. So if we're selling them for $1.05 each, it's going to go slowly, but in theory we've got $1,000 sitting in our bank account. We're also going to wire quickly. I'm going to buy at $16, if we had $16 that is. Didn't realize how broke we were, but once we sell just a few paper clips at this point, we'll have the money for it. Okay, maybe people don't buy it if the price goes up too much. It doesn't state that anywhere, but I'm tired of waiting already, so we're going to go back down to a reasonable price. 20 cents per clip $15 for more wire yes that puts us back up to 1200 inches so we can produce a lot more clips we already have 1500 in our inventory I guess our goal right now is to make $100 for marketing once we have the marketing going and out we'll really make a lot of money every business thrives on good marketing uh, as I said that I guess because we've completed 2000 paper clips we got computational resources I definitely know what those are. Plus one trust at 3,000 clips. So maybe we just need to make more? We can make more. That's fine. I've got $10 in the bank. We're pretty much rolling in money at this point. What we lack in real money, we make up for in paper clips. That's all that really matters in this world. We're gonna maybe buy more wire because it's a pretty good price. No, that we can't afford that. Auto clippers it is. We can apparently get Rev Tracker 500 OPS. Automatically calculates average revenue per second. Okay. 
Did that cost anything? What did I just do? Well, now we can see we're making 27 cents per second. So we can adjust our price if we want to see uh, how that fluctuates to know where our sweet spot is. So if we lower the price, we get 33 cents per second. 38 cents, so lowering a price does help. Well, we make more money per second. And I guess since we're time limited, that makes the most sense for us. So 10 cent paper clips. We have $15 wire, so we're going to buy that. We're running low, so if we make that money back, we're definitely buying more $15 wire. I'm also going to adjust this a little more to see if we can get the revenue per second up or down. We're at 69 cents per second, lower, lower, what happens if we go to 5 cents? Okay, we can get well over a dollar, so this will be okay. We're maybe going to buy more wire for only $16. For 700 OPS, I still don't know what OPS is. Operations? I guess that's just when we produce enough. I don't know. We click that, that's fine. Now we're producing even more clips per second. So if we drop our price to one cent, we're actually making... Well, now it dropped again. We're up to like $8 per second, which is insane considering uh, this. We're also selling faster than we're producing, so we might just have to raise the price a bit anyway because revenue per second won't matter if we don't have any clips to sell. Ooh, we have $16 marketing. I'm actually just going to go ahead and buy that. Uh, $16 wire rather, just so we can keep up on extra inches. Unlike in real life, we could buy real extra inches here. Okay, we're going to get more auto clippers as well. We got lots of inches, so we might as well burn through them with extra uh, production. I'm going to raise the price for a second to try and build up a little bit of inventory. We don't need a ton, but we need to be producing faster than we're selling. We're also going to get creativity, use idle operations to generate new problems and new solutions. Yeah, I was just thinking we needed new problems. I think I can also change my processors and memory. Uh, increased operations per second what does this one do max operations increased okay i'm sure that will make more sense in a minute i'm gonna raise the price slightly to see if our revenue goes up i should have paid attention to what it was before touching the button but i uh, me i can't help but touch things oh i need to lower it that's what i was doing wrong we want to be over a dollar per second preferably and we seem to be at about balanced for production wire dropped to 17 dollars 14 dollars i'm gonna buy four of those just so we have almost 5,000 inches to work with yeah you know what let's buy one more i'm also gonna buy one more auto clippers for just about 10 dollars that should put us up to 20 clips per second we're producing here's a good one improved wire extrusion 50 percent more wire from every spool so instead of a thousand inches we're gonna get 1500 inches speaking of which we got 15 dollar wire so we're gonna buy a few strands of that that added 3,000 inches for $30. And since we have a surplus of money right now, we are going to go ahead and buy marketing level one. That's hopefully going to change something for us. Uh, our revenue did go up by 25 cents. I guess because public demand may be raised just as simple as that for just a simple investment. So that was well worth it. I just bought an algorithm thing. There was an AI made of dust whose poetry gained its man's trust. I didn't really get a chance to read what it said because I accidentally clicked on it, but it's doing something good for us probably. I'm also going to lower the price a little bit. We're going to go down to five cents. Revenue should go up on that. We might be able to lower again. Uh, we're also going to buy a few spools of wire for $14. We'd be stupid not to. Mm -hmm. 18,500 inches. That just feels fun. Mm, gonna raise prices one more cent again because our inventory we're selling faster than we're producing lexical processing gain ability to interpret and understand human language i feel like we're creating some kind of ai suddenly anyways i'm gonna boost memory and processors again oh ops is operations per second that's this number i get it so we're completing projects by ops creativity is currently 10 even better auto clippers so ooh, 50 percent uh, increase so we went from 20 to 28 clips per second 28 per second is pretty good, but given that we're producing almost $2 per second now, whoops, we're going to go up in our auto clickers. We're in up to 20 fees, so we're 40 clips per second. We got $15 wire again. Oh, I accidentally clicked on 20. That was so much profit lost. We can't be too hard on ourselves. We're going to buy more auto clippers times two, so up to 43 per second. We're also going to buy more processors to get our operations number up because we're about to 3,000. Creativity is going up. Which means for 25 creativity and 25, 2500 OPS, we could get marketing effectiveness increased by 50%, which is actually huge. Uh, $1.66 per second revenue, we click on that, $4 per second. So let's see if we can push our uh, clips per second over 50. We're going to spend all of our money currently on that. 54 clips per second. I think I actually have to raise the price though, because we're not building up a stockpile. We are selling our clips somehow faster than we're producing them. So apparently having the price lower, even though we're selling our stockpile, still gives more revenue per second. I don't know if that's like 
a true stat or not, but we're gonna believe it because it's probably smarter than I am. I guess the dish is basing off the number sold per second, so it seems like a real stat. Whatever the case, we've sold up $200, so we're gonna get marketing level 2, so our revenue per second is gonna go up again. I think we're also, we're selling 100 clips per second at this point. Then we get combinatory harmonics, daisy daisy give me your whatever plus one trust. That added up here so we can get extra processors, so we're producing something faster. Wire is only $15, so we're definitely going to top ourselves up on that, up to about 20,000 inches. I've also added memory because I wanted more options here. Uh, we're also going to do this, 150 creativity is going to give plus one trust, which means I can produce stuff faster again, all the way up to 4,000. 75% uh, more wire supply from every spool also. So we really could buy a $22 spool if we wanted to and it would be worth our time. So at this point, I'm going to raise up the price. So it's up to, I don't know, 30 cents per clip. Uh, let's go to right here, 29 cents or 50% demand. I need to build up a stockpile. And to do that, oh, we're going to keep a close eye on the price. We got one for $16. We're going to wait for the price to drop again. $70 is close enough for me. So $15, that's better. We can spend a whole bunch of our money. Uh, actually, a lot of our money, but we have 50,000 inches of wire now. So at this point, we're only selling two clips per second. So we're producing way more than we're selling. But since we made $100 very quickly, let's buy some more auto clippers. We need more production. 60 clips every second. I'm also going to buy whatever this is. Tubes within tubes within tubes. That's plus one trust, which means uh, more processor here, which means faster numbers. And again, 250 creativity here is going to give us more processor. Yeah, actually, maybe we need more memory too, because that is increasing our operations. So we're producing this quickly, but we need to get this number up as well so we can buy more of this fun stuff, like double marketing effectiveness. Yes. So we just jumped up to 10 clips sold per second. So we just five times our selling capacity, even though the price didn't change. So our revenue went up to $3 per second and we're still building a stockpile. And with our next 150 or so dollars, we're going to buy more auto clippers. That's going to put our paperclip production up to almost 70 per second. Uh, we're also going to buy increased auto clipper performance by 75%. So that's going to actually be a giant increased almost 100 clips per second. So with a few clicks on auto clippers at this point, uh, we're going to push our way up to 100 even. And there it is, 100 clips every second. We now have 16,000 in unsold inventory. So now if we lower the price back down, we should be able to unload that inventory very, very quickly and make an absolute fortune in money. We'll go 4 cents per clip. Revenue is now up to $30 per second. The clips are winding down, but we're going to make a lot of money in a hurry. 10,000 clips, 9,000 clips. We've got almost $500 in the bank. There we go. The stockpile is diminishing quickly. If we lower the price, does the money go up again? It does. $40 per second. We're just going through our stockpile quicker, I think. Okay, we're going to put the price back up to 10 cents. Public demand is still 300%. And we're still actually building a stockpile at $10 per second. So we're going to go uh, marketing up. We have almost $1,000 to our name so we can afford better marketing. That means the numbers up here get even better. $12 per second. Mm, we're going through our stockpile though. We need to produce uh, more per second. So we need as many of these as we can get. 122 clips being produced every second. Mm, we're about even with our stockpile. So this is sort of a nice balance. $12 per second. I bought a few more clippers, but I've also lowered the price, so we're selling more. We're producing 150 per second. Sorry, we're selling 150 per second. We're producing 135, so we're slowly going through our stockpile. But if I click on this a few more times, we're going to close that gap. We clearly also need more memory here, so we'll have 6,000, which can afford at least some of these things. This will help increase auto clipper performance by 500%. So we're currently getting 140 per second. We click on that thing. Uh, we're up to 420 per second. So we can lower the price quite a bit to hopefully match about that income. 533, we'll keep it right here at 360 sold per second. We're still building a stockpile, but we're making $21 a second. On top of that, we can also increase our marketing for $800. So that's going to bump numbers further in our favor. We're selling 442 per second. So we actually need to uh, raise the price again to balance that out. Wire is only $16, so I'm basically going to spend every cent I have buying wire for a minute because the price generally doesn't get better than that. 100,000 inches. So now we're selling between... We actually went through our stockpile. We're going to raise price just a little bit so our stockpile comes back. We're going to sell 320 per second, but we're going to make $22 per second also. We're also going to increase our memory, so now we can have up to 7,000 OPS, which is going to auto buy wire when we run out. We won't have uh, control over the price of the wire, but we get so much money out of each uh, dollar we spend on it, it doesn't really matter. Now, for every auto clipper we buy at this point, 
we get 420 to 427. So each one of these is seven extra per second that we're producing. So we're gonna spend some money on that, 460 per second. We've officially made $1,000 again, and we're getting quite a stockpile built up. So I think this is a pretty good time to go and have a coffee and come back to see some much bigger numbers. A few quick minutes later, we have $15,000 to our name. One thing we're gonna do is increase our memory here a few times, that way we can go all the way up to 10,000. We've also produced almost half a million paper clips at this point, so that feels pretty good. Since we have the money for it, we're going to increase our marketing twice. Then we actually have algorithmic trading, a develop an investment engine for generating funds. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do a high risk because nothing ventured, nothing gained. We're going to invest. Okay. It didn't really ask us how much. It just went ahead and threw $11,000 in there. Great. In theory, given enough time, that will be worth enough money. You just don't sell when it's low. Uh, for now, we'll take our $500 and move on. I think this quickly turned into $20,000. It dropped to $17,000, but you can see the price is going to um, increase quite a bit for us. Look at that. It's basically doubled its price already. It's pretty much Wall Street bets. And like any good investment gambler, that means I could pretty much just ignore the actual money making operation and just gamble my money away over here in investments. Next, I'm going to buy Hypno Harmonics for 7500 OPS. Use neuroresident frequencies to influence consumer behavior. So public demand is up to 3000%. So we could probably increase the price a little bit at this point because we don't need to sell 3300 clips per second. That price needs to go up way up 20 20 cents per clip now we're selling 1500 per second uh we're making 300 dollars per second so we need to produce more clips i don't know how that's my takeaway from that but that's what we're going with okay we're still producing 500 and something so we need to raise the price to get that to balance this number here my investments over here have quickly made us uh they're up to thirty thousand dollars now i feel like i should just leave for now and come back to like a billion dollars anyways we're producing about as much as we're selling and we're making 185 dollars per second currently we're going to buy some more auto clippers to try and bump that in the right direction <laughs> this jumped up to fifty thousand dollars uh i don't know if i should withdraw that or not is it gonna crash again i don't know it works we're gonna take that for a second give me that 50 grand uh, it went up to 100 grand for a second. It's not really letting me withdraw. Uh, I don't really know how this works. Like any, <laughs> any good investment, it really is just like Wall Street bets. Can I have that money? Is that mine now? Yeah, there we go. We're up to $113,000. Uh, I'm going to use quantum computing to generate bonus OPS as well. Uh, compute need photonic chips okay that's fine we've got $120,000 so it doesn't really matter what we do anymore we're gonna increase marketing twice that cost about $20,000 but we still have over $100,000 so we're gonna buy more auto clippers we want to these are $5,000 each so these are getting expensive I need to raise the price to slow down our selling as well uh, because we're only producing about 700 so there we go we're now producing a stockpile again $230 a second and because I just can't help myself we're gonna to deposit $75,000 back into the investment thing because making money is too slow otherwise. I guess if we got a stockpile of 50,000 chips we can lower the price a little bit to sell more of these quicker. We'll burn through our stockpile but we'll also make a lot more revenue per second. I see my $75,000 investment has quickly dropped down to 50,000 but you know we'll give it 10 years it'll recover. Oh there's the photonic chips we need for 10,000 OPS so now we can do computing here and yes that. Whatever that means. I assume that helps this number get bigger quicker. Our investments are down to less than half of what we started with, $33,000. But to be fair, we made that money through investing anyway, so in my brain, that doesn't even count. For $25,000, we're going to buy marketing level 10. So now we definitely need to raise the price to even the numbers out again. We're currently producing 680 clips and we're selling 660. So we're slowly making a stockpile. We're making $265 per second. Not actually sure what this is doing, but it's doing something. Yeah, see, so you know, the more I click on it, the more this number goes up. 100% uh, more wire from every spool. That's just more profit for us. And I guess we'll continue clicking on this to uh, brute force this number bigger. So to get this number bigger we just need to produce more clips so auto clippers it is <laughs> our stocks went from seventy-five thousand to seven thousand. <laughs> it's 10 times less than where it started so i'm gonna go make a coffee and let this number recover hey look at that it actually worked my investment turned into one hundred and ten thousand dollars now wow up to one hundred and thirty thousand. uh maybe we should take that out right now now we're up to a quarter of a million dollars 
I also clicked on this a bunch hoping it would turn positive but it didn't so we're at minus 5000 operations now. So every time I make a good choice I ruin it somewhere else. We're going to increase the memory though to 11,000, we just need to get that number up. The most logical move at this point is to invest our almost $300,000 in high risk stocks and uh, you know let fate take it from here. It immediately dropped to 200, well $140,000 so it immediately halved its value but uh, you know what that's fine, <laughs> we won't panic yet. So for the next few minutes I'm basically just slowly going to be buying more and more auto clippers because we just simply need to produce more and more clips. Well, keeping an eye on the investments, because when it goes back into the positive, we'll keep an eye on it and sell out once we actually make a profit. That might take a while, but at least we could be productive in the meantime. And I've just now realized we can use quantum computing to actually push through our limit. So at least until now when we're going backwards, but that almost gave us the 12,000 we need here. Also, since we're producing so many uh, clips, I've raised the price to $1 per clip. We're actually still selling quite a few. Our revenue's gone down, but I want our stockpile to go up. Computed my way to a higher limit. Oh, it went away. I didn't realize that to be quick. I could have generated Yomi, which uh, upgrades my investment engine, which clearly needs some work. But I think I'm going to have my opportunity to do it again. Wait, there we go. Now we have a Yomi. I have no idea what this is. So we're just going to set that to random. And it's, I guess, going to run for 1000 OPS. I don't really know what that's supposed to do. On a number later note, there's 100 auto clippers, so we're producing uh, a lot of clips per second. 750. Okay, whatever I just did, I ran this thing, we got 82 Yomi apparently. So for 1000, we can create a new tournament, random, run. We have 82, 218, so we can upgrade our investment engine. So we definitely need that. So I realized if I just hit run in the new tournament a bunch of times, the Yomi slowly goes up so we can increase our investment engine again. So it does seem to be coming back slowly, 185,000. So we're only down like 100 grand at this point. So aside from that, I'm just going to spend all my operations points here, just getting as much Yomi as I can so we can upgrade our investment thing again. We're just addicted to gambling at this point. I'm just trying to tilt it in my favor. I've collected enough Yomi to uh, upgrade my investment engine again. The next one's going to be really expensive to do. I've also brute forced my OPS. Oh, I lost it again. I forgot that's a temporary. We're going to get 500 times more powerful than a standard auto clipper as soon as I can brute force this above 11,000 again. Although I was able to disincrease the memory so now we can get up to 12,000 without having to overdo it, which will get us mega clippers in no time. So we're going from 750 uh, paper clips per second to 750. Maybe I misread with that. Oh, mega clippers. Oh, okay. We got to buy them. They're $500 each. 750, 1250. We can buy a lot of these. Uh, good thing we have some Money in the bank. No thanks to our stupid investments, but other than that, we're now producing 9,000 clips per second. That means we could definitely lower the price, so we need to be uh, selling a lot of these. So dropping the price to 10 cents, we're selling 4,600 clips per second. We're still producing double that. So we're going to go price down even more. We're producing 9,200. We're pro uh, selling 8,300. So we're gaining about 1,000 per second and we're also making $500 per second. <laughs> Our investments are still at about less than one tenth of their value impressively. They'll recover in no time at all. Uh, we're also going to work on improving our investment computer once again. <laughs> it's just going to take a while. I've run this program again so we can upgrade our investment engine again which is really only very smallly pushing me into the positive. So I guess that's saying every time this ticks over, there is now a 0.54 chance that it's going to go into positive. So long term, we should come out uh, on top. <laughs> Just ignore this number for a second, but we leave this for long enough. In theory, we win. Uh, speaking of which, we made back $100,000 while I was being addicted to gambling. So we're going to spend all of the money on more mega clippers. We'd be stupid not to. And after that, we're producing 22,000 clips per second. So we could definitely lower prices to hopefully sell even more. Uh, we could hardly even keep up at this point. We're making $553 per second. Uh, we're going to need better marketing. Otherwise, it's not really worth it anymore. We've made another $60,000. Our investment is down to a total of $2,000, so it lost 99% of its value. But we can increase our marketing to level 10, so we need to pay attention to the number of clips sold. We're going from 18,500 to 20,500. So that added 10, a little over 10% value. With our leftover money, we're just going to produce even more clips. That nudged our numbers up to $617 per second. Uh, we've uh, overdid our things, so we're going to increase Mega Clipper performance by an additional 50%, so we're now up to 32,000 clips per second. And for 15,000 OPS, we can convert electromagnetic waves into quantum operations. Not really sure what that means, but we'll take it. We're producing clips so fast now that we've already unlocked another memory spot here. We did have another spot here for a second. I think whatever we clicked on gave us another option here, potentially. 
So definitely more Mega Clippers for us. They're getting very expensive, but they're making their money back in no time at all. I'm actually going to spend $12,000 to get that thing out of the way. Now at least we have a new option there for something new and fun. Plus with quantum computing, we can get a lot of extra QOPS. So we're up to 19,000. We've never had this much before. I'm pretty much going to have to take uh, always choose option B. Let's hope that's something good. It's more expensive to do this, but I think we're going to get more Yomi every time. Whatever we're doing down here seems to work because we have 8,600 Yomi, so our investment engine is going up. Profit loss ratio 0.55, so the advantage is in our hands, believe it or not. And what I need now is $180,000 spent on Mega Clippers. That'll take us a um, production of 40,000 up to 46,000, so a 15% increase. And if we want, we can start to burn through our stockpile. We can make prices per clip one cent. That'll give us $730 per second, but we could turn it down to 650, which makes more sense in my brain. We're still making $660 per second, but we're increasing our stockpile of almost 5 million clips. Since our prices are as low as they could possibly go, I'm gonna increase marketing anyway, just for fun, because we can sell even more clips that way, $812 per second. That's actually a really big increase to our revenue. And we got money left over, so more Mega Clippers again, which have been improved in the meantime, so we're up to 74,000 produced per second. And we can increase our memory again, so we can have 19,000 OPS at any one time. Quantum computing has pushed us way into overdrive. That means we got a whole bunch of different things going on. Us one trust. We want this one. Because now we can pick greedy, the option with the highest potential payout. It costs 4,000 OPS every time we want to do that, but <laughs> obviously I like gambling. And that seems to have worked. We gained 1120 Yomi the first roll, which is a lot. We're also going to get this plus one trust, so we're going to boost our memory again. If I'm reading this correctly down below, cure for male pattern baldness plus 20. Do we just get plus 20 trust? That means we can boost our memory way up. Uh, we can even increase our processors a little bit while we're at it, but that's going to give me insane new uh, options. Now we can hold it to 38,000, our limit was just 20,000, and it took forever to get there. Cure for cancer. The trick is tricking cancer into curing itself plus 10 trust which increases our limit again. We'll go only so high because we need our rate to increase as well. I also now have the option to convert electromagnetic waves into quantum operations, so that should make this number even bigger when we click on this button. And for some reason I can do that again, again, so now we're gonna have even bigger numbers. You know, I just realized my investments, they finally turned to profit, 526,000, they're going up. They were down to like $700 at one point, I knew it was just a matter of waiting. So now that they're up in the $500,000 range, we're actually gonna withdraw that real quick. Just to add to my current money, so now we have $1.2 million. With our last tournament win thing, we got 19, uh, 1950 Yomi, which is enough to increase our investment engine again. So now the profit loss ratio is 0.58, which is actually getting pretty good. And it's like they always say, the best way to make a lot of money is to take massive unnecessary financial risk. So I'm going to deposit uh, $1.4 million into a high risk uh, investment strategy and uh, we'll just let this run for a bit. We've already lost lots of money. Boy, does that ever tick downwards quickly. But as we learned earlier, sometimes you just need to wait for a couple hours and it bounces right back. Ah, it bounced back up to $2 million very, very quickly. $2.2 million. So it has some pretty moody swings up and down, but it's obviously easy to make some money. You know what? Let's withdraw that for a sec at 2.5 million. Can I have my money now? Please let me have my money before it does anything crazy. 2.4 million. Then I'm going to spend 30,000 OPS and we're going to get even better quantum computing. So now there's much more potential to make uh, OPS here. My lifetime investment income, 1.4 million. That's basically what we just made, I think. But we need more Mega Clippers since we have the money for it. We're also going to buy better marketing maybe, but we're going to go down to basically a million dollars. It's actually going to be very close to a million dollars and it'll tick back up there quickly. We're now producing almost 100,000 clips per second. And we're also making almost $8,000 per second. So we make a million dollars almost every thousand seconds. Now when I get all the quantum computing blocks going, I can make like tens of thousands of OPS off this. But also, since I've uh, sold my investments, we made $130,000. Investing is just so much quicker. Well, let's just do that. $1.1 million invested. That'll be fine. It'll turn into a billion dollars in no time. A little while later, our stocks have grown to $270 million. $280 million. So we'll let them run like this for a little while. But since we're here, $400 million now, we're going to spend our million dollars in real earnings on more Mega Clippers for more production. I went a little bit overboard with the waiting game, but on the bright side, we now have $141 billion. That's this many digits. We also have unsold inventory of 1.6 million paper clips, but that doesn't matter because again, we have $141 billion. So admittedly, the only thing I can think to do with that is spend that all on Mega Clippers using an auto clicker. And 
And apparently we're not allowed to buy any more than that. Oh, we need to sell the investments. I forgot. Uh, we did just spend a lot of money on Mega Clippers uh, because we only have $500,000 left. Anyways, we're going to withdraw the investments. That's a better <laughs> available funds, just like my real bank account. So auto clicker onto Mega Clippers. Away it goes. We're down to, wow, that actually went quite quick. 238 Mega Clippers now. I say it went quick. We literally stalled at $1 billion, just shy of it. We still have a billion dollars, but we're also producing 330,000 clips per second. So that number's gone quite well. So aside from that, we can spend a whole bunch of money on marketing at this point, all the way up to level 24. Public demand is up to 110,000%. So we could probably raise the price a little bit and still sell quite a few paper clips. I'm just using an auto clicker at this point to raise the price. Public demand is still at 150%. So we can now sell individual paper clips for well over $12 and still sell a lot of them. And since we made hundreds of billions of dollars selling paper clips, I think it's safe to say we won the game.